come craft with me today. I'm making a cowboy boot all adorned with florals and greenery. I'm using the Poppy and Pear paper collection by B. Valent and American Crafts. My thoughts behind this project is you see rain boots during spring all floraled up and I thought how fun would it be to make a cowboy boot with florals and I just fell in love with it. Here I'm assembling the base of the boot along with the sole. I decided to use the purple lavender pattern paper and the 12 by 12 paper pad. Uh, once assembling any type of cut file, you want to work slow and steady, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm uh, using my hot glue gun to adhere all of the pieces. Here I did cut out a different colored pattern paper for the layering of the base of the boot. And I'm also using scissors to cut down those pieces to size. A crafty technique that I always use and love is using machine stitching on most of my projects. It isn't a requirement, however, I adore it. After finishing up this project, I thought this project would be such a great project to insert a tag flip, a mini album, a notebook, also, some candy would go great in here. Even some socks. I thought, wow, this would fit some socks as well. If anyone wants to give some decorative socks, that would work as well. Here, I'm adhering an embellishment bow from the embellishment pack from Poppy and Pears Paper Collection. I'm also adding some knotting cord to the bottom left. I also added a strip of navy pattern paper to go around the cowboy boot. Here I begin the fun part. I love adding florals and greenery to my projects, especially in spring. And I'm using some flowers um, and also some greenery. You can cut out some flowers freehand. You can use a die cut. You can also use an electric machine uh, uh, to do that as well. Um, the sizes that I'm using are five flowers at one and a quarter, two flowers at one and a half, and two flowers at seven eighths of an inch. As far as the leaves, I'm using a one and a half inch for the leaves. So here I'm just adding all of my pieces. I also did fussy cut some from the paper pad. And as you can see here, I did two large uh, fussy cut florals and I did cut one in half. I'm also using a flower bud from the paper pad, which I did fussy cut as well. I made, I assembled all of my flowers. I added my own centers. You are able to also purchase your flowers and go that route in order to decorate your boot but um, I did everything by hand and I just love how it turned out. Here I'm adding a punch and I'm using the crocodile to add an eyelet and I'm going to insert a tassel from the tassel pack from Poppy and Pears paper collection and I'm just going to insert it here and later on I decide to add a jump ring to it. So here is the project. I hope you enjoyed it um, as much as I did. I just love all of the florals and the colors of this paper collection. I also added a micro mini album for um, micro mini scrapbooking.